stream of media reports have been published implicating former President Goodluck Jonathan and other officials who served under his administration in corrupt dealings. But none has been specific like this one. A leaked email shows oil companies Shell and ENI paid some $1.3 billion, money meant as kickbacks for government officials to influence the sale of an offshore block. Jonathan is said to have received $200 million and prosecutors in Italy, home country of ENI, say they have evidence linking him to the money. The controversial oil block has since reverted to the federal government after a court ruling, but authorities have not given up finding out exactly what happened. Jonathan himself has not made public comments about the case, but his spokesman has issued a statement denying his involvement. Now the House of Representatives Committee on Justice, tasked with investigating the transaction, wants to summon him to explain his role. No formal notice has been sent to the former president, but many here believe Jonathan could provide valuable information on what is now known as the Malibu oil scandal. It would be imponderable to think that he didn't, he didn't know about it. Um, he has a plethora of sources of information. Uh, there is something called the Department of State Security Service. Part of their brief is to turn in volumes and volumes of all these kind of uh, transactions, especially the ones that are done uh, out of, out of, under the table. The Malibu oil scandal is one of the numerous grand schemes involving government officials and multinational oil companies in gaining private value for Nigeria's vast oil resources. Alongside it, there's another ongoing investigation involving government officials and oil companies in diverting $17 billion from public coffers. The unique thing with the Malibu scandal is the fact that it's touching a former head of state. So the House of Representatives Committee's interest to question Goodluck Jonathan could put to test whether President Buhari's anti-corruption dragnet has limits. Any invitation by the House of Reps, politics, ethnicity, religion, will be thrown at it. The first question will be, why didn't you bring President Olusha Gorbachev for issues around the Halliburton Siemens issue? The, first, the next question will be, which other president of Nigeria has been so harassed for corruption? And the next question will be, did corruption just start with this government? President Buhari came to office with a promise to rid Nigeria of endemic corruption. He has made it clear that he will not intervene in the prosecution of his predecessor if concrete evidence of corrupt dealings were brought against him. Oil is Nigeria's lifeline. The government depends on it for 90% of its export revenue. But Africa's giant has little to show for trillions of dollars worth of oil exports since 1980s. Kilichia Mekalam, CGT and Abuja, Nigeria.